Hey you and welcome. I'm Mr. Barry. In this little video, I'm going to be looking again into Night Cafe. Now, Night Cafe is that AI program, and it's free, that allows you basically to uh, create works of art. I mean, beautiful works of art, as you see here. And here. And here. And you do it by putting in text or a prompt. And so we're going to go in. I'm going to show you basically uh, what kind of prompts you're looking for and basically to get the best art out of Night Cafe. Now, before we get into that, I would like to recommend everyone, hey, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my video channel there, a YouTube channel, Selma Teacher 7 and click on that thumbs up as that really helps the channel and if you have a question or a comment or anything that really helps as well to leave a quick comment in there even if it's just to say hi i always read them and i say hi back alrighty well let's get into the uh, night cafe free uh, website and program there for ai art hey here we are in the night cafe ai art now when you first go in if you click on creations you can actually see work that you've created in the past and here's some of the work that i've actually made right here so i'm going to go down this list here a little bit mini waterfalls there all right so i made a lot of work in just the last few days here i'm going to show you the prompts that i use the styles and everything else Notice when you're looking at your creations here from this very first tab, you can go with different tabs view. So if I click on that view, or if I click on this view here, you can see now I can see the, the title of my work, when I made it, the algorithm that I used, and I can evolve it. If I want to do other things such as enhance it, duplicate it, evolve it um, evolving basically adding more prompts to the prompt that you already have now we can share it these three things here you can edit select submit to today's challenge which I'll show you here in a minute add or remove from a collection because you can have collections you can download the image download it with your name on it you can archive it or even delete it from your from your work there so what we're going to do is I'm going to go back to the tab view here and show you some of the things that I've created recently so if I go here to this happy little dog here this is a happy terrier looks like a sunset and let's look at some of the colors here I got purple and pink all in here and a beautiful sunset so let's look and see how that compares to the prompt that I decided to use if you go down this list, you can actually see there's the text prompt that I used. So for this image, I said, Happy Terrier in Field of Flowers. And if you look at it, that does look like a Happy Terrier in a Field of Flowers. Next, I used the word Breathtaking. All right, Artwork by Ansel Adams. Now, you can always add um, an artist name, and it will do it in that style and the and um, you can google it so you can google famous artists and look at their work and if you like someone you can copy that name in here and the ai will then do it in that style colorful sunset yeah i would say that's a colorful sunset there it's beautiful colors there next jrr uh token ishmael in scenario and I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing these words because I know I'm I really am mispronouncing these words here Junji uh, Ito um, maximalist and so those are names of different work that I found on the internet copied and pasted them into the text prompts you can always save them too so you can use them um, as a modifier for a later works of art so this is basically what I have copied there into all my work. Next, epic scale. So if you look at the work here, you notice there's some 
beautiful horizon there and you can kind of see the scale because when this actually created this was this created these four images so let me take you to these four images and um, if you notice this is the epic scale that we're looking at here that the background so let's look at the background here look at this image here there's depth there so that's epic scale and even though it's a square image next we have so intricately hyper detail so if you look at the fur you can see some fur there the grass is detailed there's a lot of work into everything nothing is just kind of like blase it's very very clear look at the eyes you can see some detail in the eyes and all that so everything's hyper detailed next clear environment there's different types of environment that you can have if you want more of a mist in here you can leave that out or actually say mist and you'll you'll draw in a mist or paint in a mist for you sunset 16k resolution so yep in all of these there is the sun is setting on all of these somewhere in the image all right another thing we have trending on artstation now artstation is a website where people publish their work and stuff like that so if you want a style that is similar to what you're what's trending what people see as or view as popular on artstation well it's going to copy that too next is cell shading so if we look at the cell shading here let me get some of that here we go see how you have this effect with the glare on the sun and all that here that's some of that effect there is from the cell shading this one right here glossy is your contrast so you notice that the eyes are really dark things in the foreground are they have a, a higher contrast uh, ratio than the things in the back in the back there there there's less contrast uh, next here we have photo realism it's a painting yes but I want it to be like a photo like it was taken off from a photograph so it's photo realism and the next one here is these three letters L and S and then the last letter is D all in caps and then the word art on that what's going to happen is it puts in pink and purple for us so if I look here see all the pink here and the purple it's adding that because of the, the that word right here that I added next is psychedelic art that emphasizes that so the pink and the purples it really makes your your artwork shine and stand out so um, you get more likes and when you get more more likes on your work then what's going to happen is you get more of these points so here I have a hundred and 88 of these credits and that's because of so many people have been liking my work and so if I go down to some of these here let me just see here let's just see some of these here so I got six people like that one I have some of these where it's like a lot of people like them let me see if I can find some popular ones down here okay so this is 35 people that's actually not not that some of these I have where it actually goes up to more than 50 and 60 um, likes from from these so this is this is pretty nice here 35 people like that one and if you see here there's what I use for the text prompts very similar to what you saw in the previous image but here I have CG Society and that's another art society out there and you notice this one has more of the trees and stuff like that in there more forest because of that Z brush um, I can pick that up right away here see this right here these lines out here in the sky that's Z brush and when I say Z brush 
I expect it to have more of these these lines in the sky. It can be in the foreground as well, but you have these intricate lines, like a like a brush. It's been flown onto the uh, the uh, mat there, and it's in the form of a Z. <laughs> so I'm just trying to explain it there, but you can see the brush. There's some Z brush up here, up here. Okay, so that's. Whenever I use the word ZBrush, I'm expecting the sky to have more of that type of um, effect onto it. I have another artwork that shows it a little bit clearer than that. So then go back to Creations. And I'm going to go to Alpha or Proxima Centauri. Where is that? Here it is. So what I'm going to do is go right here to this one. This is ZBrush right here. See the this effect here at the base of this valley or at the bottom of this valley? That's a ZBrush. And that's, uh, to me, that's beautiful. Proxima Centauri B, by the way, is a planet that orbits very close to the star Proxima Centauri, which is about four light years away from the Earth. And it's in the habitable zone, so you can have liquid water on the surface there as far as temperature-wise. Um, how thick is the atmosphere? That's a good question. If the atmosphere is thick enough, yeah, you can have water there. But anyway, so here's some of my work for there. There's, there's another good example of ZBrush. See how it's this kind of effect up there? ZBrush is seen everywhere. Hey, I got 15 people to like that one. That's interesting. Let me go back here. This is beautiful. I really like this effect, the clouds and all that. 18 people like that. This is like a, a glacier has gone through this valley in the past. And um, you can give it a name here. I'll show you how to do that here when I create one uh, in a second. Notice this one, I've upscaled it and that is with these tools that you have down here. So you can duplicate it. Evolve it means add more prompts. Kind of like go back to work with it and add more prompts to it. This is to enhance it and to upscale it and the last one is to download it. If you want to do other, use other um, art manipulators on your computer. All right, so let's go here and just let's talk about the, the prompts that we have for this one. Here I have Desert Valley, but again, it's the same one as I used before. Apparently, I like that one. Now, this was the output images, so I had four output images. Then you can publish each one independently or together. Uh, next is the initial resolution was the thumb. So that's the smallest one and it's it does it real quick But if you notice some of my work, it's going to be not thumb but medium Runtime I have it as medium. There's quick medium long and I usually have it on medium so I get more detailed images and people send I tend to get I tend to get more likes with that um, Next is the seed now, the thing about the seed is it's a random seed and um, every seed is, is this going to read those words and put different weight on those words a little differently. Um, that's all I can really explain. Um, I've, I've Googled it. I've looked at I've used a random seed uh, a lot of times and basically that has very little, you know, it just the effect on it is just very, very ever so slight. If you see an effect that you really, really like, you can copy the seed over and use that same seed. And if you use the same text prompts and if you use the same seed, you will get the same images. So that's something to, to think about too. Now if you really wanted these exact images, you can actually type in Desert Valley, a breathtaking artwork by Ansel Adams, colorful sunset. You can actually copy all these words into the your next prompt use the seed 7885208688 and that will create these images or something that's 
those images and I've done it before just as a test just to have fun with and yep it, it's done it all right overall prompt weight you can change that uh, how long how much is it going to obey these words I have it at 80 percent sampling method the KLMS and then I'm I'll talk about the clip guidance here in a second too when we actually are creating something now um, if I go back to creations you'll notice that hey I got a lot of different creations and they some of these look similar because yeah I'm using a similar text in each one the prompts that I use is very similar but there are some that are a little bit different so if I go in and let's say that I look at um, let's go this one here the very last one here this one I made it 43 minutes ago and two people like that one okay now here's the images that were created I use Sutherland Falls a breathtaking artwork again by Ansel Adams so that's why you see you're seeing some similarity in the style over and over again let me go back to this dog here notice on this one I'm not using ZBrush there's no ZBrush because I didn't want the clouds to be in a ZBrush pattern okay I wanted natural blotchy clouds so that's why it doesn't say ZBrush so now you know what ZBrush does there and just to let you know this is one of my favorite seeds 733139368 I've used that for a lot of my work let's see I got 30 people who like this one all right so more people like this one kind of has a, a, a nice effect to it all right so let's go in and so we've talked about creations and being able to see your creations the next thing I want to talk about is collections so as when you have a your your free account you create one you can create creations by simply clicking on create right but you can sort your creations into collections and so here if you wanted to make a new one you click on new creation or new collection I should say and when you click on new collection you can give it a name and let's see what I've done here so let's go to waterfalls and here are uh, my, some of my waterfalls that I've created so let's go to the very top here and um, you give it a name and a description so here's a collection of AI generated artworks uh, created by me Summer Teacher 7 and here's the last one I made Ooh, that one got 35 likes so a lot of people like that one here's 50 oh man I think I sure <laughs> okay you enter your work into challenges I didn't know I got 50 that's pretty good so a lot of people like this one here and yeah there's a, lo a good amount of depth in there um, 13 comments let's look at this here for a second and here's the comments people are commenting here and on the settings you can see what settings I used so when I said ZBrush on this where do you see ZBrush effect in the clouds no in the trees that's where I'm seeing ZBrush effects okay um, still psychedelic art so really colorful sunset so somewhere around here should be colorful sunset there is the colorful sunset I love the colors of sunsets and so that's why you're seeing that there okay let's see others here so 16 people like this one 21 like that one 15 16 kind of a happy tree right there it's beautiful and that's all of the, the waterfalls I've added okay um, so we talked about create uh, creations collections and what we're going to do is I'm going to go in and create something so I'm going to create but first off before I do that I actually want to copy some of the text here 
So let's say that I want to make another artwork similar to this one. So I'm just going to copy the text. There's copy. So I'm going to copy the text that we have here and then go to create. And you notice when you go to create, you have different styles. We have stable, dolly, two, coherent, artistic, and style. And I'm going to show you a dolly two creation here in just a second, but this is stable. Um, here you have different styles. 45, uh, let's see, 75% of the time I'm using night cafe, but sometimes I do use the artistic portrait. Photo is about 23% of the time. And 1% of the time might be artistic portrait. And then maybe a fraction of the time would be one of these others, such as color portrait, oil painting. Now, I paint, I actually do uh, create real artwork, uh, physical artwork, not just AI artwork as well. And so I try to keep things similar to the way I paint. And it's more of this style here. Um, I don't do this style or these styles here, but it would be more uh, more closely related to this one here. Okay. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to paste that prompt in. There's the prompt. Now I'm going to change some words in here a little bit. And let's see here. So I got Sutherland Falls, a breathtaking artwork by Ansel Adams, colorful sunset. And let's see here, what do I want to change? I think I want to take off one of these. And then I'm going to add the word forest. So I'm adding the word forest. So it's going to emphasize the forest for me in this shot or in these images that they'll create for me. Uh, I'm keeping everything the same as uh, what we talked about earlier, you know, with glossy for the that, that appearance where you have um, the high contrast effect. That's glossy is high contrast, photorealism and all that. Up here, you I'm going to go show advanced options. Now you can select an image to work with. So here's some of the images that I've worked with in the past. If you already have an image on your computer, you can click right here and actually bring up an image from your hard drive or from your computer. You have free images and creations that are already there for you to, to use from. These are already work that I've, that I've used before. If I wanted to make more um, artwork that was related to one of these, I would click this one and then click on choose. But I'm just gonna say cancel. I'm not gonna use that. Um, I'm going to just choose a random seed and here's a quick word about seeds. The seed is just a number that controls the randomness that happens during the generation from the prompt. So by using the same seed in the same settings or the same prompts um, in two different generations, you'll get the same output. But if you change only the seed, you can actually get a completely different output or image from using the same prompt. So it's kind of interesting. It's up to you on which seed. Some artists will use the same seed over and over again. I use a few that, that you'll notice uh, over and over again, but um, it's up to you and, and how you want to use your seeds. And for the prompt weight, how much should you use for the prompt weight? Well, normally it comes up to 50%, which is safe. But if you're, if you're really confident on these words, you know that then you can go 80% or even 90%. If you go too much, it can overcook the image and create kind of a bizarre image that doesn't make any sense if you go 100%. And next is clip guidance. Let me read you about clip guidance. Enabling clip guidance can help improve the image results by uh, for complex prompts or larger resolutions. It can also make images look more realistic. So guess what I'm going to do? On this one, I'm going to choose simple. 
And also um, over here where it says aspect ratio, I'm going to use widescreen. So it matches the, the 16 by 9. That's most monitors are 16 by 9. By nine. And then number of images, I'm going to have four of them create. Next is resol uh, resolution and runtime. And the higher prompt weight may require a longer runtime, right? So if I go medium, it's going to cost more of these credits. You see, I have 188 credits, but it's going to cost more of those credits. But don't worry, guess what? You get more and more credits. As people thumbs up your creation, as they leave comments, you will get credits. And these credits allow you to create more artwork. So by following my prompts that I'm showing you, these text prompts, you can you should be able to create uh, outstanding works of art here. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to go uh, output resolution. Now, if you're really unsure, like the very first time that you do it, you could probably go thumbnail. But if you're really confident that you have, you know, really worked out a text prompt and you you know what you want to do, then go low res. All right. Um, it's going to take a little bit time, more time. It costs more. You notice it's going to cost four credits here, but um, I think it's worth it because it makes a more detailed image. Let's click on create. You're taking back to your creations and then it'll make it up here at the top. All right, so, wow. By adding the word forest, you can see there's way more of a forest effect on these than there was in the my earliest work for waterfalls here. So this, yeah, you're in the middle of a forest. Wow, okay. Uh, if you like it, click on thumbs up there. And let's look at some of these here. Wow, so this is this is pretty nice. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna edit the title and I'm gonna just call it Waterfalls in the Forest. All right, Waterfalls in the Forest. Just keep it simple, right? Notice uh, this is not for sale work, so if for some reason it's not gonna be for sale, um, then you can you can choose that that on you can put a description if you wanted to tell a story sometimes people will write stories in the prompts and um, the ai will try to work it out it'll look like a story and then a good description there can i kind of help the person out who's looking at it if you have a link to your gallery you can actually add it there people click it and then go to your gallery there to buy a a physical copy of it. Next below that we have um, publishing options. So we can set, um, I'm just going to use my default publishing preferences and I will show you how to change those here in this video. I'm just going to click on save and let's publish these four. It's, it's going to look like this when people look at it. And how do I know that? Because of the eye is red here. If I wanted people to see this one as the main image, then you click on the eye for that. But I want them to see a preview of all of them. So you have a duplicate evolve, which basically you can take that image and recreate it with more prompts, more text. This is the viewing option, the primary viewing option, which one do you have? And then this one here is more options or actions. Download it, download it with your artistic overlay, hide it or publish it separately. What we're going to do is I'm going to say publish. All right, so this is published. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to publish these individually. So it's real easy to do. Just click on the three dots publish separately. You can give each one a name, a different name if you want to, but here I'm just going to kind of try to keep it simple for us. And we already have people clicking on thumbs up, so I'm the second one on that one. Let's go back to the original work. 
And let's publish this one separately. Going back to original, let's publish this one separately. And the last one there. Let's go back to the original and we'll publish this one separately. Okay, so now when I go to my creations, you notice that I, it has these new ones that I just made with you. And you notice it doesn't say um, the little thing right here. It's not added to a collection. So I'm going to show you collections here in just a second. Collections, there they are. Now, if you need to add a new collection, if you're starting this off, you'd have to, right? So you click on new collection and you give it a name Give a description and then click on create. I'm going to show you one that I made already called waterfalls. All right. So this is the waterfalls. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add all my new waterfalls to my collection of waterfalls. And that's that's really easy to do. I'm going to change the viewing option to this here, the very first one. And then you click on the three dots and say add to collection waterfalls click on add to waterfalls and now it's added and you'll see a little you'll see a blue mark right there next to published that means you've saved it in a collection i can do this to all of them now add to a collection of waterfalls And we have that last one there. So add to collection, waterfalls, add. So fairly easy to do. Let me go back here to the tab view. And now you notice that all the new ones I just created, they've now added to the waterfalls. All right. Now, if you look up here, you have feed. This is uh, feed or you get to see work from other artists that you are following. So the latest artworks from creators that you follow. So there's that. And next is Explore. So this is all the newest work, the most popular work here in the last hour. And that's what's been created. And it shows it up here. If you wanted to change it by the day and to see what was the latest work for the day, you can see that. You can filter it. So you can have no filter or settings are open. This is where you can actually read people's prompts. Um, if they allow you to, then it will show you the prompts, the text. And then you can have other options here if you wanted to see one of these others. So let's look at Dolly 2 here for a second. And let's look at um, one of these here. Let's see which one I want to look at. Let's look at this dog here. So this is using Dolly 2. And the settings are opened. So we can see they're using human Shiba Inu. Okay. Uh, that's dog in Japanese. Right there. Okay. So this is dog. This is, and then it says human. So you got human. And you see Inu is the dog. Japanese setting. So if you look around, all of these have kind of like a Japanese setting in the background for them, which is nice. Landscape portrait, 8K resolution. Wow, okay. Concept art, portrait, and then they found artists that they like. So they drew in or they typed in their artist. I'm going to read off their artist. They have some dynamic lighting. So they have multiple light uh, uh, sources. So you notice there's this light source over here, a light source over here, and it's different. There's a bluish, yellowish light sources. So dynamic light sourcing, hyper detailed. Eh, yeah, I, I, if, if when I use that word hyper detailed, I usually expect a real crisp, photorealistic sharpness when I say integratedly detailed. This, is, I would say, is splash art. So if this look at the, yeah, this is definitely splash art. See how it's splashed on? Just take my, um, you can see, imagine your paintbrush is just being splashed on there. 
splash art right there. All right, and they said uh, trending with ArtStation as well. All right, and then these right here, this is usually added automatically for you when you choose the different styles that these words are added automatically, like the Unreal Engine 5. This is different right here. Perfect face, that was added. That person added there because they didn't want a, um, an odd face, I guess. All right, now let's see about these here. Let's look at this one. So this said, I really like this person's work. Then I can say follow. And now when I go to the feed, I'll see some of the work that they've done recently. So this is the work that was done most recently is the stuff that's on top. And that means they might have done the, the, uh, that hummingbird uh, more than an hour ago or so. Next is explore. So you can explore all the other work there from the last hour and di different filters. Now, we've talked about this already, but I didn't talk about video. There are videos too. If you use some of these, you'll, you'll see the option for video. Might talk about that in another, in the second video or third video for this. So then you can choose that. All right, let's talk about challenges. What are challenges? Daily challenges are official competitions that are based on a daily theme and are fair by design. Submit your most beautiful, creative, and on-theme creations for a chance to share in the prizes. All right, so you can win prizes every day. And I'll show you how to do that. So um, the challenge right now is waterfalls. And what people have already done, uh, closing in one hour, is dogs. So you still have one more hour to submit your dog. Over here we have um, vote. So when you vote, you get credits. When you, when you vote, every time you vote, you get credits. So let's see what happens when I vote. So this is the one that I submitted. I submitted that one. Let's click on start voting. And here we have four thumbnails, kind of small. So I'm going to go right in the middle. If a person, there we go. If a person has it individualized like that, published separately, then it's going to be a better work. I think he could have done better I, for me I, with colors. I, I need more like this. This is okay. This is boom. I like it. Okay. Um, this one. Let's go there. Let's go there. Let's go there. Okay. This. I'll, I'll show you. See how it's kind of like it's almost incoherent. <laughs> that this is one of the styles that I'll show you how to make those. I really don't care for, for that style. This I like a lot. I like that one a lot. And I like that one a lot. All right, so once you clicked on your voting, then you click on close and you're back to this. And you'll get a notification up here on saying, hey, you get um, more credits from your voting. And you'll get other notifications too, like your creation is popular waterfalls. It's already liked by five people. So that's that's awesome. All right, so we've talked about uh, your inbox. We've talked about your profile is next. So here you see your name and you can edit your profile by clicking here and you can change what people see. So you, your image can be changed. Your account settings can be changed. So if I click on account settings, and I go, I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom here where it says um, set your default publishing preferences. This is kind of important. This is what you're going to show others when you publish. Now I've already said that if you copy someone else's text and use the same seed, you can create the exact same image or 99% of the time it is the same image, right? So what we're going to do is, is I'm going to say copy protection is turned on, green, and then by default preventing copies will also hide the start images and your prompts. Okay, if you wanted to change those, you can click on those and change them. I'm just going to click on save, and so we've made those changes. 
Now what I'm going to do is um, go back to creations here. And I want to make one like this. This is this is um, a dog here, and it's an Inu, and I'm using Dolly 2 medium resolution. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this same text here. Go to create, but this time instead of using that stable one, we're going to go in and use Dolly 2. Now these others, this is the coherent and the artistic. The artistic makes that kind of like, I would call it a crazy image. Just everything's kind of thrown together, a collage of paintings. That's what you get. Um, the coherent is nice, but it's not my favorite. My favorite is stable. And then there's style transfer, which I'll just show you real quick. You select an image. So you select one of your images and let's just say you choose that one and then from there you choose a style so if you wanted to choose a style like oh i want it done in uh, this this style here you click on that choose it and so it's going to put that style of artist as if he made that and you click on you can cr click on video if you want to create a video of the effect of the painting which is kind of neat and you click on create I won't create it right now but you can it's you can do that what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back out and actually use dolly 2 so for dolly 2 I'm going to use a prompt and I'm going to paste the prompt there but I'm not going to have that I'm going to say uh, waterfall in forest all right landscape okay do, 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 do. everything else looks okay and I'm using uh, advanced options let me turn that off because you don't normally see that at first normally you see this and you can choose a style but I'm going to do uh, show advanced and now what do you have so what are the options that you have when you show advanced well, how many images do you want to create at one time? I'm going to go uh, with one image. I want to do, um, let's go medium. And let's create it. So those are the, uh, the options that you have when you're using Dolly 2 as far as advanced options. When you click on create your again you go back to your creations and it takes a few minutes here to create and there it is so let's look at it there it is and it's not really in my style i this is not the styling of when i paint um, so personally i don't use dolly 2 that often but you can see it looks looks nice like a painting there if you like it you click on thumbs up and you say publish. When you publish, that's when you are given the chance to alter the title, save and publish. If you want to add a description, you may, but let's click on that. If you have a social media that you, you know, really like, you can share it on that social media. I don't really have that. So click on no thanks. And let's look at this here. Let's see here. So on this, if I wanted to, I could do other work. So this click right here, enhance. I can enhance it two times over to make a larger image of it. And I will enhance it just for you guys to show you what it does when you enhance an image. So it's going to take a minute to enhance it because this is a, a already a large image. And here it is. So that's the image enhance it's a little bit clearer it's kind of hard to see you know the difference is there but it is it is a little bit clearer and you notice um, if you wanted to make it even larger you can keep on throwing more credits and to make it even larger if you need to 8,000 by 8,000 that's absolutely that's a poster size and, and I would not do that normally Evolve. Let's click on Evolve to show you what evolving means. 
So you're involving a creation using an algorithm that doesn't support start images. Try changing the algorithm above. All right. So if I wanted to change some of this, Let's change some of this here and let's add the word sunset. Ooh, 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 ooh. I got an idea. Usually comma there or um, let's go colorful. There we go. Colorful sunset, waterfall and forest landscape. Okay, so let's keep it there. Um, Let's see here. Let's just, let's just create it and see what happens here. This is the result. So when I just added those words there, it took that image and it turned it into this, which is like, okay, this is this is nice. I, I, I kind of like this one. It's a little bit different. It looks almost like a photograph, to tell you the truth. Um, let's publish this and that's, you don't need all that on there. This is called it Colorful Sunset, Waterfall and Forest. And this this looks pretty amazing. I, I, I like it. I like it, even though it's not psychedelic colors. <laughs> all right. So you can see there's my start image. And when I evolved it, it turned it into that, which doesn't look anything like this one. But... Oh well. Okay, let's go back to creations now. And so now you know a little bit about Dolly 2 when you're using that. Um, let me look at this dog here for a second. Now, when you. I like this image a lot. As you notice, I enhanced it, I upscaled it 12 and a half times. I like it so much. So I made a poster size image is what I did because I like this image so much. When I created the image, I used the words happy terrier and field of flowers. And that's why it shows the field of flowers there. Um, if you really like the purple and pink, you know, those types of colors there, a lot of people like that and it will get upscaled or up, you know, thumbs up if you do that. You use the L and S and D letters, and then the word art, comma, psychedelic art. So if you add that to your text prompt, you will get something that has more of these colors into it like this, these purples and pinks, and, and it, it should stand out. So when you publish it, you should get more thumbs up. So if you notice, I'm getting you know thumbs up on this one already, 30 on this one all right let's go back to creations here um i'll show you now a mistake this one's not published why didn't i publish it well i'll show you here in a second um what in the world of kind of creature is this right what what kind of creature is this this looks like a rat and a terrier mixed together that's just a rat with a leash on it? What in the world is this? What's funny about its ears and everything else, right? Even this does not look correct. So what did I do? Why did I make a mistake in this? Well, here I wanted the image of a rat terrier and it did not understand me at all. So um, I was kind of uh, hesitant. So I didn't really put much emphasis on creating this. So if you look down, I did short and low low resolution and short runtime. So I didn't spend any of these credits on making this one, maybe one credit to make these just to kind of experiment. And this is why I recommend you're doing, if you're really um, experimenting with these and you know, you're putting in the word in there, you go, well, that might be interpreted the wrong way as you see in this image has been interpreted the wrong way. Then don't put much in the way of, of um, resolution or runtime into it because you know you're just going to make um, just this trash here um, maybe it's not trash it is beautiful right it is kind of beautiful there this one's really nice and everything but none of the images came out that does not look like a rat terrier that looks like a rat terrier with five legs one two three four five this something is really wrong here okay guys 
<laughs> so there's a there's a reason why um, I didn't publish it, or um, I didn't even go in and say you know the medium resolutions or medium times. So that's why I might my advice to you is if you use these and you, you're not sure about the prompts that you're going to be typing in, then go ahead and just do um, do the quick and easy there, short and low resolution. And that way you're not wasting so many coins or um, credits in trying to find out, you know, what is your favorite styles. So you notice that I've done this a lot and I play on this for hours and hours at a time just to try to get the effects that I want on all this and I've created probably more than a thousand images already so if I go to to these here let's look at, at one uh, this might be something that you want to do you know you want to do a portrait of someone well what what did I use all right okay I made all these four here and I put in that's the prompt that I used to create that and I'll leave it there for a second Notice it is different than and then the ones I used uh, on the others. There's no LSD, LS and D <laughs> um, art or psychedelic art. So you're getting something that's more of like these other styles. It's still hyper detailed. Um, this right here, this kind of gives that that misty, cloudy effect that you're seeing. So if you like this, just go ahead and copy this. You can pause the video, hit the space bar, and then copy that. And you can create an image as you see here. All right, so back to creations. So I really, really enjoy Night Cafe, just to let you know. I really have a lot of fun with it. And you can just keep on doing work and work and experimenting with different prompts as you see that I have. I've given you many prompts. And I've created many different images already with you. Let's go and look at the dog collection here real quick. And here's some of the dogs I've created. This is one of my favorites. So let's say that you are going in and you're saying, I want to create an image. And you know why why is this image so much different than this image what is the difference well if you click on it click on settings you see right away I used the word black and white terrier I still used psychedelic art so why it doesn't show the pink and the blues and the and the purples in the sky it's all black and white well that's because I used the word black and white so again, this is kind of, it was it misunderstanding me as far as what I wanted it to do. And I interpreted it as a black and white painting instead of the black and white terrier, you know. And it put it in parentheses, how cute. It's in parentheses. <laughs> That's, yeah, interesting. If you look at this one here, let's look at the settings now. This just says happy terrier in field because the AI knows the word terrier but it doesn't know the word rat terrier and it misunderstood black and white terrier as well but everything else is the same so if you look all of this text is the exact same as it was on the other image except for black and white is missing there it is Hey, so there you go. Now you know more about that Night Cafe AI Art Creator. And if you like these types of videos, please click on that thumbs up as that really helps the channel tremendously. Leave a comment there. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. And I just wish to say thank you to all those, uh, to my subscribers there who have been sharing the, the videos on YouTube. That really helps the the channel greatly when you share the uh, videos there alrighty and uh, again there if you have an idea on a future video leave it down there even if you do think well um, Mr. Barry's probably too busy he's probably not gonna read them no I read every single comment there just leave there a comment there on what kind of topic that you want there for a future video and I'll make sure I, I will present the video based there on your topic Really appreciate your watching to the end and you all have a very good day and bye bye.